Pediatric Rehabilitation and Related Services by Brandon Guzman and Paloma Marina Larena. Before we begin, let's review a couple of definitions. A psychiatric disability, as defined by Americans with Disability Act, is a mental impairment that substantially limits one or more of the major life activities of an individual. However, according to Corrigan, it is a three-part definition, consisting of a diagnosable mental illness, a person with a psychiatric disability is not able to pursue significant goals, and third, both the mental illness and its interference with the attainment of goals persist for significant periods of time. Psychiatric rehabilitation promotes recovery, full community integration, and improved quality of life for persons who have been diagnosed with any mental health condition that impairs their ability to lead meaningful lives. The services offered are collaborative, person-directed, and individualized. Its focus is on helping individuals develop skills and access resources needed to increase their capacity to be successful and satisfied in the living, working, learning, and social environments of their choice. Psychiatric rehabilitation services are an array of services that can contribute to recovery or not, depending on the principles, values, and competencies with which they are delivered. Services include treatment, crisis intervention, case management, peer support, wellness services, and each have a specific intended outcome. Recovery is a process of regaining meaningful life and hope by directional, functioning in two directions. So you may ask yourself, what's the difference between rehabilitation and treatment services? Rehabilitation services has as its intended outcome the development of valued role functioning and is focused on recovery, while in turn, Treatment services solely has as its intended outcome the reduction of symptoms and distress. So who can benefit from psychiatric rehabilitation services? According to William Anthony and Marianne Farkas, as discussed in a primer on the psychiatric rehabilitation process, those that can benefit the most are adults diagnosed with severe mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, major depression, and are living in the community as a result of deinstitutionalization. Psychiatric rehabilitation helps persons who have experienced severe psychiatric disabilities rather than concentrating on individuals who are simply dissatisfied and unhappy. Why is psychiatric rehabilitation bidirectional? Well, it is meant to have an impact on the individuals and their challenges and strengths relative to personal goals and meant to have an impact on their community or venue in which goals are pursued and achieved. According to Patrick Corrigan, by being bi-directional or having an impact on both the individual and the community, myths and stereotypes such as, I am, they are incompetent, or I am, they are dangerous, they are unpredictable, or I am, they are different, can be debunked and proven to be false. So what does the psychiatric rehabilitation process consist of? Well, according to Corrigan, it is an integrated model that rests on the following key structures. Principles, which are the moral imperatives that guide people and society in dealing with disabilities. Strategies, the tools that providers might use to help persons with disabilities. Settings, where places where rehabilitation occurs. And roles, the different types of people involved in the process. What are the principles that guide the person? Well, they're recovery, hope, goals focus, quality of life, strengths focus, and the dignity to fail. In turn, the principles that guide the community include self-determination, community integration, place first, then train, supports and modifications, real world focus, inclusion, continuity of services, and integration of services. The settings in which one might participate in psychiatric rehabilitation services can be divided into three groups. Residential, which includes psychiatric hospitals, halfway houses, and a person's home. Vocational, work settings and education settings. And activity or recreation, including day treatment, psychosocial clubhouse, the community or streets, a faith-based community, mutual support programs, or self-help programs. 
There are numerous roles that are involved in the success of an individual in a psychiatric rehabilitation process. Such include the individual, his or her support system, professional rehabilitation providers to include rehabilitation counselors, paraprofessional providers, and their peers. As delineated by Corrigan, there are numerous strategies used. Such include basic listening skills, problem solving, instrumental and social support, shared decision making, goal setting, skills training, transfer training, cognitive rehabilitation therapy, mindfulness, family education and support, relapse prevention, and harm reduction. The psychiatric rehabilitation process uses interventions for which there is consistent scientific evidence that they improve client outcomes. The six evidence-based practices that are used for individuals with serious mental illness include supported employment, acceptance and commitment therapy, illness management and recovery, family, psychoeducation, integrated dual disorders treatment, and medication management. So now that you have learned about psychiatric rehabilitation services, how do you know if you are ready to receive such? The question that an individual must ask of themselves to determine their readiness is, am I willing to participate in a structured process? If you would like to learn more about psychiatric rehabilitation, uh, please visit any of the following locations, such as the Army Community Services on Fort Bliss, Aliviane, El Paso Psychiatric Center, UMC, Texas Tech, El Paso Behavioral Health Care Center, or Emergence. Psychiatric rehabilitation services offer hope and recovery. If you wish to start a journey, do not be afraid to seek help. Locally, one can visit Peaks Behavioral, El Paso Behavioral Health Center, El Paso VA for Veterans in Active Duty, or Emergence Health Network in order to start that journey.